A perfect spirit coming into duality. A perfect spirit can't be justified in duality because duality by nature is imbalanced. So when we try to obtain righteousness in this world through uh, being justified by our peers or by the mind, the worldly mind, you will always be um, held guilty because duality is imperfect. So you can't obtain perfection in duality. You must transcend the duality and return to the oneness of God, God's love. Um, unconditional love, boundless love, a love that uh, a love that that only sees the light in everything. And when you can return to that love, your spirit will ascend and you'll detach from all the physical and material um, conditioning and uh, magnetic attractions because we've been polarized. You know, we came in perfectly one and then we got polarized in this duality. And through the, um, the construction of this artificial ego, which is really like a phantom, the ego doesn't exist when you search for it. It's really just a construct of conditioned thinking that puts limits on our uh, unlimited spirit. So once we transcend the, uh, the thinking that has restricted the spirit, then we will um, manifest oneness. And oneness, all is known. Oneness, all is love. Um, and uh, people tend to seek for wisdom and knowledge without going through the heart chakra. They try to buy Go, go around the heart chakra, bypass the heart chakra, and go straight into the mind. And the mind without the heart is, uh, it's just empty. You know, that's why in the Bible it says, uh, and I'm not trying to be religious, but the Bible has many, many truths. And it says, you can know, uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but you can know all the mysteries of the world, but if you have not love, you're nothing. So, it's because knowledge itself is empty because knowledge is really only of the hologram that's projected of duality. Um, but wisdom transcends the knowledge of duality. So when you attain wisdom opposed to just temporal knowledge that comes and goes with this temporal world, you obtain eternal wisdom that solidifies your soul in oneness with God. Uh, we're in a divine state of amnesia. We forgot our true essence and our true essence is love, and our true essence is kindness and compassion. And it's also not a love that has to work out of guilt, because a lot of times in religious thinking, we we try to express this love that is being fueled by guilt, guilt of judgment, just trying to get God's so-called approval, you know. But in essence, we judge ourselves because God is love, and God holds no records of wrong. So the only person holding records of wrongs is your own consciousness, and your own consciousness holds you guilty. So it's really, it's it's a lot of self-forgiving, loving others, um, understanding you're not the body. You're a spiritual being that, that operates in a body. You're not your mind. You're not your worldly thoughts. You're not your fears. You're not your negative emotions. Those are just onion layers on top of the spirit. Layers and layers and layers of emotional spheres and energetic spheres and the subconscious and everything. So once we trans trans uh, transcend that that type of mentality of being um, associated with the body and trying to just our, justify ourselves in duality, then we will understand God's love and we will be one with him.